Carl from Apt, and in this video we'll be giving you a closer look at the LG UN7000 series. The series offers a lot of great features, but keeps you at a budget price point. And by the end of this video, you should have a better idea of whether this is a TV that'll work in your home theater. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll have a link to all of our current prices down in the description below. Starting on the outside, you get a black bezel with kind of a brushed texture on it that's a little thicker than what you'd find on the more expensive models. You also get two wide set pedestal feet. On the 55 inch model we have here, they're just under 44 and a half inches apart, but that number will change based on the screen size that you wind up choosing. On the back are all of your connections, and this is important to keep in mind when you're trying to pick a new TV. Budget models sometimes cut back on these a little bit, but with the UN7000, you do get a pretty good selection. There's three HDMIs, with number two also being an audio return channel, two USBs, a composite for hooking up an older analog device like a VCR, there's an antenna connection, there's ethernet, and an optical audio output. You also get Wi-Fi, which will allow you to use this TV with things like Google Assistant, Alexa, Apple AirPlay 2, and Apple HomeKit. The HDMIs that I mentioned earlier aren't 2.1, but they do offer some features that any gamers in your family will appreciate, like auto low latency mode, which is gonna detect when you've got a gaming system plugged in and switches to game mode automatically, and it's got HGIG compatibility for HDR gaming. HGIG is supposed to be coming in a future update, but it may have already happened depending on when you're watching this video. And the input lag times are really pretty great for a gaming TV as well. When we put the TV in game mode, we were getting lag times of around 10 and a half milliseconds. As for the operating system, this one comes with WebOS, which is easy to use and offers a wide variety of apps to choose from. Pressing the home button on the remote brings up the home menu at the bottom of the screen, and that's gonna have a list of all of your apps, and it's customizable, so you can make sure that your favorite ones are the ones that pop up there. Apps like Netflix and YouTube will have some additional suggestions pop up, which makes finding content really simple. The UN7000 is a 4K TV with a native 60 Hz IPS panel. IPS panels tend to make dark scenes look a little more gray, which is the case for this TV, so you're gonna get your best results in a moderately lit to bright room. But the trade-off is you get much wider viewing angles. That means that anyone sitting off to the side is gonna be able to enjoy the same picture as the people sitting in the middle. And for HDR content, this one can handle HDR10 and HLG, so you do have a couple options there. If you're looking for an inexpensive TV to put in a playroom or need a large screen but don't want to invest a lot of your hard-earned money, the UN7000 would be a great model to check out. It's got a great operating system, plenty of inputs, and a picture that's going to work well for most casual TV watchers. If you still have questions on this TV or any others we carry here at App, you can always call, email, or chat with an expert online or right here at our store. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.